All right, we're going to look at navigating our Canvas course for Painting 1. So in Canvas, you choose Painting 1, and it automatically brings you to the home page. I know that I'm on the home page because that is what is highlighted here. So on our home page, we have a link that shows us how to navigate through Canvas course. That is this video. Then we have one that will be posted about how to submit and upload assignments. Right here we have details about how and when to contact Mrs. Nelson. You can use Canvas Message or email or Google Hangouts. She's available from 8 to 3 p.m. Below we have a list of assignments and due dates. These are here with the assignment and the due date next to it. However, this information can also be found on the calendar and in each individual assignment details. Back to our menu, we have modules. This is where you're going to find your information for the week and what you need to work on. Modules are named by numerical order. Module 1 through 4 is where we're at right now. It also has the dates next to it for each week. Let's look at module 4 as an example. So this first part is a discussion page. The next part are some sort of slides that will probably give us project information. Then we have a handout, more references for your project. We have a video, which is another reference for your project. And finally, the actual project assignment. I know that it's an assignment because it's labeled assignment. There's also a due date and points associated there at the bottom. That's how I know this is something I need to do. Okay, it's easiest if you work from the module from beginning to end. That way you get all the details about the actual assignment and you don't miss anything. So go by step by step. You can do this by clicking the first part. The discussion is really going to go over the module and what you are to do this week. You have the option to reply. If you need to ask questions, this is a great place because other students can respond and so can I. So you would just type in any question that you might have and click post reply this blue button here at the bottom I'm not going to do that now I'll click cancel then I'm going to click the next button here at the bottom we have next and previous buttons that is how you move from the first to the last of the module so if I want to go back I just click previous this takes me where I was next will take me forward to the next thing that I need to look at so now I have some slides these slides are going to teach me about the project, give me some examples from other artists. I can look at them just like this. I could also download it by clicking that blue link, or I can just click expand here. Now it says press escape to get out of that full screen mode. So after I'm done looking at it, I can press escape or the unexpand button. Click next to move forward. Here I have some step-by-step -step facial proportions. This is what you did the previous week, and now it's just made into a handout for you to have a step-by-step -step guide. I can expand it to make it big. I can also press the zoom in or zoom out button to get it to the right um, size for my reference. Click next to move forward. I have the actual watercolor video. Like I said, this is the video I made last semester. This will show you how to create your project. Click Next, and now we are in the Canvas assignment. So, I have my instructions here, but right above the instructions has the due date. You have till April 24th for this one, it's worth four points, it needs a file upload. So after I've read the instructions, I've done my project, I click the blue Submit button, and I'm going to choose the file. And then also write in the comments box what um, the answers to my questions. If you need more help with this, this is what that other video is for, how to upload and submit assignments. You can find that on the home page. Okay, then you would click the blue submit button. All right, also in our Canvas course, oh, let's look back at modules. So if you don't want to go from the previous and next button, you can also just click modules and come back out here and click the actual item that you need to work on. All right, we also have announcements. This is Mrs. Nelson's way of staying in contact, letting you know of things that needs to be done. Grades, grades are posted in here. However, these are not your official Skyward grades. That will be on your postcard. 
files. This is mostly for what I use in Canvas, but there is this paintings left at school page, and this has pictures of some of your paintings that were left at school. Then we have a Google Drive. You may or may not need to use this. And that is how we navigate through our Canvas course. Let me know if you have questions.